today we will install Docker on CentOS, which will be running in VirtualBox. You will need to download CentOS from CentOS.org and you will need to download Oracle VirtualBox from VirtualBox.org. This setup is particularly useful if you need uh, to find a way to quickly generate systems that can be used to demonstrate software to prospective clients. In preparation for the installation, make sure to download Oracle VirtualBox from www.virtualbox.org and you download the minimal ISO from centos.org slash download. Any of the meters uh, will do. Let's pause the recording and we will come back when we finish downloading. Once downloaded, let's go to Oracle VirtualBox and let's create a new virtual machine. We can call it Docker01, we can select Linux and Red Hat 64-bit as the operating system. For memory, I am using half of my laptop uh, memory. Once you have selected the memory, hit create and you will be prompted for the disk and type of disk you will be using. I'm going to use 128 gigabytes of uh, RAM for the disk, but I will make sure that it gets allocated dynamically so that it doesn't get consumed immediately and I can use this space for other purposes. Finalize the image and now let's go to settings and let's make sure that we have chosen the virtual CD-ROM you downloaded from CentOS. And hit start. The virtual box terminal is kind of small, kind of uncomfortable. We will switch out for uh, PUTTY later, but for now this will have to do. So just uh, scale it out so that we can uh, we can see it better. The default options will work for most of this installation process. There are just a few things that uh, you may want to take care of. One of them is the installation destination. Just make sure you select the actual disk that you want to use. And uh, you, you will essentially be overriding everything that is uh, on that disk at this time. You also want to disable the kernel dump, just in case the computer crashes and you don't start saving stuff that you don't need. Make sure we are doing minimal installation. Uh, I also like to enable uh, the start of the interface every time the computer starts and I like to give a host name uh, right here to avoid having to, to change the configuration once uh, I finish the installation. Uh, again, I'm checking that I am installing the right disk, and I I can just uh, hit uh, begin the installation. The installation has begun, but this is a good moment to enter a password for root, the system will, will make sure that you have a, a strong enough password containing letters, capital letters, symbols, numbers, etc. So just make sure that you, you enter something strong enough. And if you want, you can create uh, users at this time. I don't think I will be doing that. So I will just uh, let it wait until it uh, finishes the, the installation. We have finished installation. Once we reboot, we can install Docker. It is now a good moment to validate that you have the network settings that you want to use. At this point, I do like to use the bridge adapter because it will allow me to connect to the internet and it will allow me to, to connect from my laptop to this system using SSH uh, or essentially PuTTY. 
It is not perfect if uh, you're in a hotel and you can only connect your laptop and no underlying systems. So we will also explore two other options that you have. You could use a NAT network that will essentially translate addresses and you, will, you can also do a host only adapter which uh, uses a, a private network within the laptop that you have. The host only adapter will allow you to SSH into this uh, Docker system that you have, but will not allow you to connect to the internet. The NAT network will allow you to connect to the internet and grab the packages you need on this uh, Docker system, but it will not allow you to SSH or put it to the, the system that you want to use. For now, let's use Bridget. Start the system and just uh, hit enter when prompted for, for what uh, uh, part of the operating system you want to use. The virtual system uh, takes a very small amount of time to boot and also it is uh, sent to as minimal installation so it's an uh, even smaller amount to boot. I use the credentials that you entered when you were installing and uh, quickly check that you do have an IP address. In this case I do have an IP address and now I will validate that I can connect to it uh, from the outside using PUTTY or PUTTY. So let's enter here 192.168.1.8 and let's, uh, let's accept this and let's log in with the same uh, network credentials. As with any new installation, it's a good idea to do uh, an update to the operating system and install the latest packages. I have done already to save us some time, but uh, let's do it again. If, uh, if this was a normal Joom update, it will take a few minutes to complete uh, all of the, the updates. We will be copying and pasting from the excellent instructions we got from uh, docker.com and uh, you, you probably have seen the link already on the screen. The, the first step is to add the repository for Docker into our Docker system. It doesn't come by default with CentOS. Maybe it will come in future versions. And once we have done that, let's just install the Docker engine. Like any Joom installation, you probably will have to say yes to a few of the, the prompts or you can precede it with yes and a pipe if you don't want to be typing yes all the time. After that, uh, it is uh, primarily a matter of uh, enabling the service so that when you start the system the next time or reboot the system, it starts automatically. Uh, so just uh, do a system control. And then uh, you, you want to start it uh, for this time uh, because we, we haven't rebooted the system. And the next time you reboot, uh, you it will just start automatically. Now, as a final step, we will validate that we indeed installed uh, Docker. So we will download an image, a Hello World latest, and uh, the image will, will send out uh, some uh, some statements. We'll validate that we have uh, Docker installed, and, uh, and we will be good to go. So hopefully, you have enjoyed. Uh, this video and you have seen how easy it is to install Docker on your VirtualBox uh, installation. Thank you.